Hello guys and welcome. Today's video we've got a pair of watch which is, in my opinion, is absolutely everywhere on AliExpress right this minute. Uh, you must have seen this picture before um, and this watch is called M1 um, and is some sort of a hybrid between the P8 that we had on review uh, some time ago and sort of um, Apple clone watch if you like. So that's like a hybrid. Uh, which is which is quite cool so um let's get started let's let's open it up and see what's all about and yeah we'll, we'll take it from there um the first thing to mention is the packaging the packaging i wasn't really impressed um it all came sort of crumbled up and the box itself is not really sort of high-end packaging as you can see um so yeah let's discard that and let's see what's what's awaiting for us inside um inside you'll find this rather really nasty cheap looking plastic uh packaging um, the, the, the only thing I can mention is, is probably uh, they've saved money on the packaging to um, implement more money towards the actual design and the quality um, of the unit itself. So let's discard this and we'll just carry on with the review of the watch itself. So here's the watch. Um, I'll put that to one side for a second just to see what else comes in the packaging. You also get this rather big uh, manual uh, which comes in English and Chinese languages. It's quite useful. You might might want to flick through and also you'll get a little charger which is a semi wireless charger it looks like an apple uh, wireless charger however you've got those two little pins yeah so it, cl it clips only one way um it's not the strongest magnet so if you accidentally heat it it'll probably come off but you know it's 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 fine it's fine to charge on a surface like that right so let's talk about the watch itself let's first of all talk about the the outer look um, you've got this silicon uh, silicon strap which is 20 mil across and there's a quick release uh, mechanism on there so uh, once once you purchase this watch you, you're more than welcome to go to aliexpress and purchase yourself um, different straps if you need to um, at the back um, this is where you've got this plastic cover with two um, charging pins and also your two little um, heart rate sort of sensors. The, the body of the watch itself is made from aluminium and is covered in this in this paint. Colors that this watch come in um, black, dark green, silver, pink, quite a variety of colors there. Uh, this is a glass panel so it's not a plastic it's a glass cover. The screen itself is 1.4 inches across and it's a 240 by 240 pixel resolution. You also got this one physical button to the right I was really impressed with this design because the button doesn't stick out too much. It sits, it sits flush, um, and it's, it's actually a um, working button altogether. So I'll show you later on in the video, but you can actually turn uh, this button, and it will change uh, different menu styles and all those things. Um, so now let's talk about the actual um, inner bit of the watch, if you like. So the battery inside is 180 milliamp battery, which will last you a good five to seven working days. This watch comes with IP rating of 68, which means you can take it for a swim, you can take it to a shower, you can, you can take it whatever. So they, they're really not afraid of water whatsoever. The processor inside is RTK8762CK. The watch also uses Bluetooth 5.0 to connect to your phone, which means the connection stays strong and reliable at all the times. And the little app that this watch uses to connect to your phone is called FitCloud Pro. I'm not going to go into app itself, it's very simple and you must have seen it in the previous video. Uh, so the other thing to mention is the um, most of the people do prefer to know what sort of text messages and what sort of uh, social media can you actually receive messages from to the watch. So the standard things that you will receive would be your um, text messages, your phone calls, your emails. You also get uh, things coming from Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Viber, and Skype. And the other thing to mention as well is, is probably a huge bonus for this particular watch because the other watch on AliExpress that I've reviewed before, I um, haven't had this option, is the ability to connect uh, and send all the fitness data to Apple Health and Google Fit. You know, that's not sort of commonly seen, but that's, that's, that's the case for Fit Cloud Pro and this particular model here. The price of this watch on AliExpress right right this minute is around about sort of between 15 to 20 US dollars depending on where you're going to buy, when you're going to buy and whether you're going to use those little coupons and vouchers or not. So let's jump in and the first thing we'll talk about is the watch faces. Um, the, there's only five watch faces and unfortunately they are not expandable. So from a main menu when you wake your watch up, um, if you spin the crown, this is how you change your watch faces if you wish to. So that's our third watch face here, uh, fourth watch face here, 
and your obviously the, the Mickey Mouse that everyone is really wants to have on their watch. So now let's talk about the menu. So by scrolling from top to bottom, you get a quick quick screen, uh, quick access screen, and this is where you can change your brightness. Uh, that's the minimum brightness. Uh, and we'll go back and I'll show you. It doesn't really make much of a difference between minimum brightness and the maximum brightness, but I'll just I'll just mention that when it's on the maximum brightness, um, the watch is clearly seen broad daylight when the sun is shining. This is where you can find your phone. So a quick access to uh, search, you know, searching for your phone. You can switch your watch off and you can access um, a watch information here as well. Uh, by scrolling from bottom to top, like that, you'll go to your messages. So like a quick access of your messages and you can only see three messages at a time. You can delete them, but unfortunately you can't answer them because there is no, no way of doing it. By scrolling from left to the right, this is access to a quick menu, which is basically a, your full menu. However, it's, it's just laid in a completely different manner. Uh, and you can, you can scroll through by using your little crown on the side. And if we go back, and then if we'll scroll from right to the left, uh, that's your basically like your main main menu. The first thing you come across is data and that's where you can see how many steps you've done, how many you know how many miles or kilometers you, you walked and how many calories you burned per that particular day. Um, you can do your heart rate, you can do your blood pressure, you can do your uh, uh, oxygen percentage in your blood uh, test. Uh, then you can go to your sports mode. Uh, once again you can you can use your crown to scroll through and we've got a walking, uh, we've got running, we've got hiking, we've got cycling, we've got basketball. And last and last but not the least is the swimming. Uh, like I said, the watch got IP rating of 68, which means you can actually take it for a swim. Uh, and if you press on it, it starts to count the time and calories you burned, and it will track your heart rate. You can pause it, and you can just go back, and you can just end, and like that. This is where you'll track your sleep pattern. So for for the previous night, also it's, it will be recorded in the app itself. Uh, the time is very simple. You can just start the timer, you can pause the timer, you can reset the timer, but there is no, um, it's not really a timer. I don't know why they call it a timer. It's, a, it's really a stopwatch. And if we scroll further, you can, you can, you can search for your phone. The um, ringtone will, will sort of play on your phone and you can find it. This is a QR code. Uh, so when you, when you get this watch and if you, you want to download a working app, which is a Fit Cloud Pro, you just scan this QR code with your phone and you can download it that way. The music control is laid out nicely. You can scroll your tracks uh, to the previous one or the, you, you can skip the track forward. You can play and pause. You can also control the volume of the track playing right this minute, which is uh, not quite often seen on any other watches. And finally, you've got your settings. So. Uh, in the settings, I'll scroll back to the top, you can change your languages. Unfortunately, um, there's a short list of languages, starting from Chinese, English, uh, German, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian. So then we go to uh, screen settings, you can change the brightness, we've seen that already. You can change the duration of the screen, so you can go from as low as five seconds to a nine seconds shine. So the screen will stay on for nine seconds. Uh, and the other thing to mention is also here is your menu style. So if we click that right this minute, it's, it's the style number one. So if we click it to style number two and we go back to the main menu, do you remember how we've done this swipe from left to the right? Look at that, the menu has changed completely. So now this is more like an Apple uh, Apple style sort of bubble menu and you can you can move it around and it's it's, it's not a, it doesn't have a really huge lag not not as huge as some of the watch seen on Aliexpress and if you go back to the menu style and you just click style one again and you go back you back to your sort of list instead of having a bubble personally I prefer this style I think it's easier to read I think it's easier to um, get around and it's just just in my opinion it just looks a little bit better right and just before I'm gonna summarize this video um, let's do a quick test uh, of heart rate sensor and I'll also show how this watch looks on the wrist. That's how the watch is gonna look on your wrist. Um, it's, it's a very compact design in my opinion. So now let's go to heart rating there and we'll see how long it will take and what sort of reading will we get. Not bad, I'd say it's pr probably around right uh, figures. The thing to remember guys is 
none of the watch or none of the fitness bracelet for that matter of fact will give you a hundred percent accurate reading for the heart rates or any, any other of those um, options that they have so to summarize today's video um, should you buy one of those or not um, I'd say you know what if you're looking for a Apple Apple watch clones um, instead of um, risking it and trying to get yourself an Apple clone I would probably buy this particular pair because from the side it looks like an Apple watch it's got all the watch faces that Apple uh, Apple, Apple watch would have and it looks great it looks it looks fine they do cost cost a lot less than a majority of Apple clones and this is a hundred percent working example you know the crown works you know you, you can actually you can actually use the crown and whereas with the other Apple watch clones you you can't the materials used are quite good so that's aluminium that's um, that's glass that's not plastic so there's really nothing to go wrong with if, if you know what I mean so I would say yes it's probably a good example uh, to purchase is, is a watch that you're gonna be happy with and the battery is great and the screen is good and the connection stays nice and strong with your phone so for 20 bucks you really can't go wrong so anyway guys I'm gonna wrap it up today and I hope this has been uh, useful and if you've been looking at this watch on Aliexpress you know a little bit more about it now uh, and you finally made your decision whether to purchase them or not. If I forgot anything in this video and you would like to <laughs> ask any questions, don't hesitate, uh, comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you later and bye.